seven days after Roxas was given a name and a place in Organization 13, he encountered number 14, Shion, and the gears of fate began to turn. The organization was made up of nobodies, those without hearts, and their goal was to complete Kingdom Hearts in order to become whole again. To achieve this, the Keyblade that Roxas held was an indispensable tool. As the days passed, Roxas completed his missions. Along the way, he became closer friends with Axel and Shion. The organization had another goal as well, the creation of replicas. They had copied Sora's scattered memories and powers from Castle Oblivion into an artificial replica, resulting in Shion. Riku found out that this is what was keeping Sora from waking up and Shion was distraught to learn that she was nothing more than a puppet. Axel did what he thought was best for everyone. And Roxas left the organization to find out who he truly was. Shion was determined to return her memories to Sora, so she paid a visit to Naminé. As she neared completion as a replica, Shion asked to be destroyed and she wanted Roxas to be the one to do it. Trusting Roxas to set free the hearts they'd collected, Shion returned to the place she belonged, inside Sora.
Roxas headed for the organization's castle, but Riku blocked his path. Upon learning that Roxas was Sora's nobody, Riku unleashed all his powers of darkness to defeat him, paying no mind to the cost. Roxas awoke, ready to start a brand new day of summer vacation. <laughs>